In this video, I'll show you how to factory reset your iPhone without the passcode. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. If you've gone and forgotten your iPhone passcode, but you want to go and reset it, don't worry, I've got three different methods you can try. The first method is going to be just doing it on your iPhone itself. The second method will be using iCloud and the third will be using iTunes. So for this first method, what we actually need to do is go and start trying to unlock your iPhone and you need to go and actually enter the passcode incorrectly quite a few times. Just keep typing uh, your passcode in incorrectly and we'll then say iPhone unavailable, try again in one minute and wait for that one minute to pass. After it has and you can go and enter your passcode in again, you need to go and type in another incorrect passcode and you may have to do that multiple times and just keep doing it until it then says iPhone unavailable, try again in five minutes. Then after those five minutes have passed, what you can then do is you need to go and enter uh, an incorrect password again quite a few times. And then after that, it will then say iPhone unavailable, try again in 15 minutes. Then after those 15 minutes have passed, then what you need to do is enter the passcode in again, incorrectly of course, and then it will say iPhone unavailable, try again in one hour. But now that you're at the one hour phase, in the bottom right, it's going to go and give the option to go and erase your iPhone. So tap on erase iPhone, and then the next screen you'll be taken to is this page here, which say erase all content and settings. This iPhone is in the security lockout. You can try your passcode again one hour, or you can go and erase and reset this iPhone now and you will need the password for your Apple ID for this, as I may have already said. And just to emphasize as well, is you are gonna be erasing all your content and settings, so hopefully you've got them backed up on iTunes uh, or maybe onto your iCloud. And if you're sure you want to go and erase it, then tap on erase iPhone in the bottom right. And then what you'll need to do is just go and enter your passcode for the Apple ID. And this will be the Apple ID, which was uh, connected to your iPhone. So type your password in there, and then you can go and start resetting it. For the second method, we can go and use your iCloud account. So what you'll need to do is come onto a computer or another Apple device, like another iPad or an iPhone. And we need to go to the find my app. So you can actually use the find my app in your browser, which is why I'm on iCloud. So if you want to use a computer, literally just go to iCloud.com and sign in to your iCloud account or Apple ID, and then scroll down and go and tap on the Find My App like this. Then once you're on the Find My App, go and click at the top and click on All Devices and go and click on the device uh, which you want to go and reset. And once you've clicked on it, it will then be listed here and you need to just go and click on Erase iPhone like this. You'll then get this pop up here, which is Erase this iPhone and it says all content and settings will be erased. So yeah, go and click on Erase and follow the next steps. Once again, you are gonna be losing all of your content and settings. So hopefully you have backed it up uh, to iCloud or to iTunes. But now let's go and get into the next step. But this last method is actually using iTunes. And if you're using a Mac, you may need to use Finder. If you're using a new Mac or an older Mac, you can also go and use iTunes. So what you need to do is open up iTunes and then plug your iPhone in. And then once your iPhone's plugged in, you need to go and put it into recovery mode. And to do that, you need to press the increase volume button, then the decrease volume button, and then you keep holding that power button. And you don't let go of the side power button until you go and see the recovery mode uh, screen. So that's, there's actually an article Apple have created about doing this. You literally just keep holding the power button until you see the recovery mode screen, as you can see there. And then once you've done that, you can then go into iTunes uh, and click on the iPhone uh, icon in the top left like this. You may need to click it again. If you don't put your iPhone into recovery mode, you can't actually do this because of course you'd usually need to enter your passcode in order to go and trust the computer uh, to connect your iPhone. I haven't put my iPhone into recovery mode because I don't currently need to, but you will need to of course. And then all you can do is go and tap on it, restore iPhone and you can go and reset it. Once again, you are gonna lose all your content and settings. So hopefully you went and back them up to iCloud. And then once you've reset your iPhone, you can go and set it up again and enter a passcode that you will know and hopefully won't forget. If you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.